Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Bia and I am incredibly passionate about makeup. On my last video, I walked you through a very simple, quick and easy natural makeup look for every day. And today, we are going the opposite route. I am going to show you how I create this very outrageous and very sexy night out makeup look so that the next time you need a full glam, you know what to do. So, in case you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video in case you haven't already. I have planned to use this really gorgeous in affordable loose pigment today so i am going to start by doing the eye makeup because honestly when working with a loose pigment a lot of things can go wrong if your complexion is pre-even so yeah guys that is the schedule of the events for today i honestly can't even remember the last time that i did my eyes before my complexion this is the most long-lasting concealer that i have so it is definitely the one that we will be using today i didn't even say the name but like everybody and their mom knows this this is the tarte shape tape guys i am beyond sore from my gym comeback i am in so much pain still and today i'm going back there i am starting to think that there is something wrong with me because i can barely move and i'm still going and i am even going to leave the eyebrows for last because i think i've learn this from Jackie I know one of her recent videos but like if you do your brows after your eye makeup you are not subconsciously trying to avoid that area so you can blend your eyeshadows a little bit easier and like they look even better so I'm going to give that one a try because honestly everything that she recommended me so far i loved it and i incorporated it into my makeup routine like that inner corner highlighter and also she was the one getting me really into candles a few years ago so yeah that's a little bit off topic so let's go back to the makeup <laughs> if you are like me you are going to love this tip if you are not like me just use a regular powder but when i'm out and about and i need my makeup to last through sweat tears everything i always use this powder from urban decay this is the waterproof setting powder and it has a little bit of pigment to it honestly it doesn't add a ton of coverage but it is waterproof so if you are like me and you have watery eyes this is honestly one of my best tips i swear this will be the most long-lasting makeup look that you have ever seen for the matte eyeshadows i know it is very surprising i am going in with the master mattes from makeup by mario this eyeshadow palette has every single matte eyeshadow that i can possibly need first i am taking my favorite matte eyeshadow from the palette which you can definitely tell i don't think that i even need to say which one it is this is the matte number four let's see what i'm doing if this eyeshadow palette looks like it went through something rough it is because honestly i use it a freaking ton and by the way one of the reasons why i also want to do my complexion after i do my makeup is because i really want to push my eyeshadows outwards even the darker ones so this way i can do it a little bit more comfortably because i know that i won't be ruining any of my makeup i'm applying it on my crease but as you can see i'm also pushing it outwards i feel like whenever i'm trying to do like a more lifted eye and i do my complexion first i always struggle to do that perfect depth in the other part because i'm constantly worrying about my complexion and i am not going to put tape on top of my foundation because once i remove the tape trust me i tried it everything is removed with the tape we want to be looking snatched we want to be looking gorgeous and we want to be looking sexy as hell today don't let me fool you like i am going to remove this afterwards and go to the gym and by the way if you haven't subscribed yet I didn't even say this, but this is the Tutu Weight from Zoeva. And yes, I do take the longest time to blend eyeshadows. This is what I'm always saying about this eyeshadow palette. Like, you can use it for such a huge diversity of makeup looks. I could do, like, a very simple everyday makeup look. I could just use this and do, like, a soft glam on the eyes. And I can go really bold with this. And probably the only thing that I will use besides this is that loose pigment that I was talking to you guys about. This eyeshadow palette is so good. I always look like I am in a rush because I talk really fast but it's honestly out of excitement so it is actually a good thing i went a little bit overboard with the eyeshadow in here so <laughs> let's soften it up a little and by the way i'm getting better at doing curls on my hair like trust me when i tell you that i am not good with hair guys i'm not lying like i suck at doing my hair i don't know what it is but i just can never seem to get it right i know that i have a pretty tough hair to work with because it is very voluminous very like untamable so that really doesn't help but Besides that, I know that I don't have talent to handle it. 
since the loose pigment that I'm going to use is very warm, is very bronzy, I am going to stick to warmer eyeshadows. So I am taking this one, which is definitely the second most loved eyeshadow on the whole palette. And this brush from Zoeva, in the beginning, I really didn't like get the job for this brush. This is the 239, but now I love to use this to add depth to my crease because it is so precise. And I don't know how Zoeva does this, but like every single one of their brushes blend eyeshadows so effortlessly. Like, I don't know how they do this, but like the bristles of the brushes are pure miracles. I'm going to pack a lot of eyeshadow in here, not really caring for the outer part because as I said, I'm going to clean it. I'm just going to try to blend the upper part on my crease. No harsh lines in this house, as you may know by now. And if you are a beginner, please keep this in mind. When you are blending your eyeshadows on the crease and you are kind of like trying to figure out like the placement of the eyeshadows, have a mirror, look straight ahead and keep your eyes open and looking like straight ahead into the mirror because that will give you the best eyeshadow placement. If you try to figure out your crease and stuff like that with your eyes closed, chances are it is going to look super uneven and it's not going to be the best placement for your eye shape because we all have a little bit of a hood or a little bit of asymmetrical faces. In my case, I have both. So I really need to keep my eyes open while doing my makeup. I feel so weird doing my eye makeup and having nothing on my complexion besides the color corrector on my dark circles, which, oh my God, could barely do anything because my dark circles are popping. I'm taking this new ray brush to blend it a little bit more. It is still a little bit flat, but it's definitely fluffier. And the fact that it has no eyeshadow in it is really helpful too. If there is one makeup thing that I'm really passionate about is smoky eyes. I love smoky eyes. It is definitely my favorite type of look to do. Matte, shiny, I don't care. Just give me the smokiness and the sultriness of a smoky eye and I am down. <laughs> I am now going in with this very freaking tiny Japanese brush. This is perfect to pack eyeshadows with a ton of precision. And by the way, it is the smudger brush. And I am taking the deepest brown eyeshadow of the whole palette. I'm still going in with the black one, but more towards the end, I think. I don't know. You guys know that I change my mind quite often, so don't take my word for granted. But anyways, I'm going to pack it on the outer part of my outer V. Does that make sense? Like, I want to keep this more like towards the outer part of my eyes so that I keep on adding depth on the other part and just keep on lifting my eyes. And by the way, one thing that really helps me seeing if I am keeping like the right angle with my eyeshadows is to place the brush the way that I'm going to clean the eyeshadows. And as you can see, I need to take this a little bit higher so that I keep on lifting my eyes. Otherwise, once I clean it, it's just going to look like this. Does that make sense? But it's a trick that I always use whenever I'm doing these very eye-lifting looks. Going back in with the other matte eyeshadow, kind of blend the edges and soften this up. I am now taking this Dermacol 16-hour matic eyeliner and I'm going to draw a very messy eyeliner that later I'm going to blend. Guys, I am adding all the drama that I can on this makeup look. I'm going to focus more on the other part and I've kind of messed it up a little. This is what I mean by a messy eyeliner because I am going to smoke it out, clean the outer part. So guys, honestly, don't you worry. This is just going to add some depth. If I can recommend you one brush to smoke out your eyeliner is this one also from Zoeva, the 238. This is so good. It is fluffy enough, dense enough, tiny enough, everything enough. It just does the job so freaking well and I am just going to do some inward motion and now I'm just going back and forth, honestly. Now that the pencil is fully smoked out, I am going in with some black eyeshadow on top to kind of blur the edges even more. And I am using the same eyeshadow palette and the same brush, by the way. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap on top of the edge. And I also like to use the black eyeshadow to set the whole thing. And I decided to clean the edges as I went through the whole process just to see how it was going to look like. Now taking the deep brown eyeshadow that we used before in this Arjun makeup brush, I am just going to do some zigzag motions right on the edge of the black eyeshadow. Just make sure that it's fully smoked out. And it also helps it connect with this outer V that we built before. My arms are shaking from the workout that I did yesterday and I don't know how to cope with that. Guys, I thought that I was recording, but I wasn't apparently, but I am using these to clean the edges. Even after using this to clean the edges, I am still going in with the concealer when I do my complexion. Now off to the loose pigment that I really wanted to show you guys. This is so affordable and it is so, so reflective. It is the Lottie London Metallic Eyeshadow in the shade Golden Hour. This is the packaging. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside, but I'm going to try not to mess it up. Oh my god, it is falling already. Okay, so it looks a little bit darker than what it actually is, I think. But 
but you guys are going to see what it looks like on. My MacBook is full of this pigment, Jesus Christ. Loose pigments are definitely not friendly for content creators because it is a pain in the ass to show you guys. But anyways, I think I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to start pressing the pigments on my lid. I'm going to leave the inner part because I think I want to add something a bit lighter there. I don't think you guys can see, but like this is the thing with loose pigments is that it is already falling, which is perfectly normal. Just make sure that you do your complexion afterwards. Like, do you guys see how beautiful it looks? On my inner corner, I am actually going in with the Ciate. I think that's how you say the name of the brand. This is one of their minis and it is in the shade Starburst. This is a little bit too dark for me, it has a highlighter, but one thing that I love to do whenever I have a darker highlighter is to use it as an eyeshadow because it is going to be super sparkly. And I'm taking this Japanese brush and I'm going to apply it on the inner part of my lip. I love to build this gradient. I feel like it is so flattering and it opens up the eyes so much. I just remember that I'm doing a night out makeup look and... I think that I don't have any false lashes. I mean, I have ones that are used. Let's see if I can make them work. Because honestly, false lashes, after being used like two times, just lose their curve and are so hard to freaking apply. But anyways, I'm going to leave it for last. I barely have any fallout on my skin. I'm just getting rid of whatever is here, which is pretty much nothing. And now moving on to complexion, since this has to last all night, I am going in with a mattifying primer. This is the Dermacol Black Magic Makeup Base. It is kind of a deep gray shade. It actually turns clear and I think that this truly mattifies the skin. It really helps control the excessive oil. My skin hasn't been super oily, but my T-zone is always the same. Once it dries, you will see how the skin just looks super mattified. It's so weird once you apply it because it is actually great. This primer really has like a certain tackiness to it. For foundation, I'm going in with this NARS one. I want to try the NARS Soft Matte Something Foundation. I am honestly not a huge fan of matte foundations and the reason being is they tend to look a little bit too much and tend to have a little bit too much coverage for me. Like I am not the biggest fan of super, super full coverage. This one has a ton of coverage, but it definitely looks a little bit more on the natural side. And even on my soft glams, I have been loving to use this one. The eye makeup is all coming together because of the skin. I always go in with my sponge after applying the foundation because this kind of removes the excess, presses it very well into the skin. It just looks so smooth after doing this. For bronzer, I am going in with my one and only, the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. Ever since I started to apply creamy bronzer before my powder bronzer, I never really went back. Now moving on to blush, and here's another trick to make your makeup last super long hours, especially the blush part, which tends to fade away very quickly. It is to layer your blushes. Always use a cream slash liquid blush and then go in with a powder. That way you can secure the blush for the whole night. And the liquid one that I'm going in with is this one from Rare Beauty. This is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. I just feel like blush really brings everything together. But anyways, now moving on to concealer, we are still using this one. This is the shape tape from Tarte. I honestly miss having a night out, but it is so cold in Lisbon right now and in Portugal overall. I can't even like imagine going out at night when it's below 10 degrees. And yes, I know that it's still pretty hot. I know that in Europe we have colder countries, but listen, I don't do well with the cold. <laughs> I lived in the UK uh, for like four and a half months. I was more like up north and I was struggling the whole time. And when I got there, was actually snowing. It was below zero Celsius degrees and I was in agony, like trust me. I was not doing well. I love the experience though, but like that cold is super unbearable to me. I am still going in with some liquid highlighter. This is also from Rare Beauty and it is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the shade Mesmerize. And yes, I do use my sponge for everything. Like I cannot do my makeup without the sponge. And trust me, I have tried. This just gives you such a subtle, beautiful glow. This product is perfect for those no makeup makeup days, but I love to layer things. So I always use it regardless. I love how Rare Beauty highlighters, this one and the other one just give you that very glowing from within look of the setting spray and i'm going in with this one for nyx with a matte finish i love this one and it claims to help your makeup last up to 16 hours i don't know about the 16 hours i don't think that i've ever went that long with my makeup on but it definitely helps with the longevity while i was off camera waiting for the setting spray to dry i ended up cleaning and applying my false lashes i think that they are still like doing well, but I definitely need new ones because they are not curving the same way, but let's just ignore that. And now moving on to powders, I'm going to start setting my complexion using this KVD setting powder. 
It is not my favorite, as I said on my previous video, but I ran out of the Laura Mercier one and it's honestly a great chance for me to finally finish this one because it is probably about to expire if it is not already expired. I'll just try to keep my hands very light with the powder because trust me, more powder is not more setting, it is usually more creasing unless we are talking about the baking part, which by the way, I will not be doing because I applied the shape tape from Tarte, which is super good at not creasing, but if I was using something a little bit more on the creamier side, I would probably bake but if you really want to bake just make sure that you wait a few minutes after this very light layer setting powder so that once you go in with the baking your skin just doesn't pick too much powder if your skin is very very humid it will grab so much powder and too much powder at once will just make your crease even more and just look super cakey and dry honestly with the shape tape i never need it and once i did bake like to see how it would perform and it just ended up looking way too dry because the shape tape is very very thick and already pretty dry it is a matte formula so it was just too much i am going to replicate the matte eyeshadows that i use on my eyes on my lower lash line for bronzer i'm going in with a hula from benefit because honestly i haven't used this one on my channel in a hot minute and i really like the formula the only thing that i don't like about this product is the goddamn mirror it is so useless and so small trust me when i say that this makeup will last you a freaking lifetime honestly every time that i do this makeup look i just know that my skin will just be looking fire and like my makeup will just last me until i take it off and now for powder blush a new one on my collection this is the sephora colorful matte blush in the shade flirt it up this is that shade that makeup by ariel uses on kylie jenner and i love this one and i love to pair it with the rare beauty in the shade happy it is a very pinkish shade and i honestly am obsessed for highlighter the new one from rare beauty i bought it in the shade mesmerize and i am still obsessed with this like it is very very blinding and i cannot love it more one last round of setting spray since the eye makeup is very intense i'm going to keep the lips more on the neutral side so i'll be using this mac pencil this is in the shade strip down and now the soft matte lip cream in the shade london i love this combo for whenever my eye makeup is a little bit more intense because it kind of helps me keep the makeup a little bit more balanced okay guys i am going off camera just to take these clips of my hair which kind of make me look crazy and apply some mascara on my lower lashes and i will be right back this is the final glam please let me know in the comments that i'm not the only one who's completely obsessed with it it is so sexy so dramatic and it is just perfect for your next night out but yeah guys before you leave this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video in case you haven't already and if you are feeling like binge watching my content here's a playlist full of great videos that i'm sure that you guys are going to love.